Hello everyone. Welcome to session 56 of software testing made easy course. In this session, I am going to explain one of the SDLC models that is waterfall model. So let's get started. Waterfall model is the oldest SDLC model. There are different SDLC models as explained in the previous session and waterfall model is the oldest out of them. Waterfall model depicts a waterfall where the water flowing from up to down like this. That means if the waterfall SDLC model has been selected for developing a software or has been chosen for developing a software, then it all starts with the requirement analysis phase. Once the requirement analysis phase is completed, then only we'll move to the design phase. Once the design phase is completed, then only we'll move to the implementation phase. Once the implementation phase or development phase is completed, then only we will move to the testing phase. Once the testing phase is completed, then only we'll move to the deployment. Once the deployment is completed, then only we'll move to the maintenance phase. That means the process happens phase by phase manner, guys. There are few drawbacks in this waterfall SDLC model. The first drawback is testing team is not involved from the beginning stages. Hence, defect fixing becomes time consuming and costly. Let me explain this statement for you guys. Since the testing team is not there from the beginning of this project, okay, from the beginning, the testing team is not there. So what is the drawback here? The testing team, one fine day, will find some defects, guys. The defects may be related to some requirements or design. So what will happen if the testing team finds a defects related to requirements or design? Again, we need to go back to the previous phases of this model. So if there is some defect with the requir requirements, then again, we need to go to the requirement analysis phase, correct the requirements accordingly. Since the requirements are corrected, again, the design has to be corrected according to the corrected requirements. Since the design and requirements are corrected, again, the development has to be done. So that results in a lot of repetitive work, which increases the budget of the client and also it increases the time. It takes a lot of efforts and time, guys, to do all this rework. Fine. So that is the first drawback of this waterfall SDLC model where testing is not involved. Testing team is not involved from the beginning stages of the project. Now, the next drawback is this one, guys. It's not suitable for all the projects. Okay. This waterfall SDLC model is suitable for only the smaller projects. If you, if you apply this waterfall SDLC model for developing a bigger projects, which take a lot of time, then it will become difficult for the client to see the real end software that is developed completely and released into the market. It takes a lot of time for the client to see that kind of uh, software getting developed completely and uh, released into the market. It takes years, guys. Okay. So the client time is very high the for the client to wait for the software to be released into the market and see the real working software. It takes a lot of time. That's the problem, guys, with this uh, waterfall SDLC model. Hence, we have to use this waterfall SDLC model for developing the softwares which are of smaller size. For smaller projects only, it is suitable, guys, because client will not be able to see the software, the finalized software, so easily, okay? it will take a lot of time for the client to see the software, working software. Okay, so hope guys you understood what is this waterfall SDLC model in this session. So that's it guys, thank you, bye.